Now, when you make this this contact, you're making it in ambient temperature. Yes. Then when you close it up and chill it down, what happens to that connection? Well, everything's these bars are bent slightly, so they've got spring to them. Okay. So I'm sure, you know, okay, for the gotcha. most part, they're still probably pretty intimate. Do you need any uh, stills, Frank? I'll get out of the way. No, not yet. I got uh, pretty good over so far. What does it look like on the other side here? I remember, I, you see, now take a picture of that. But we had to shove those behind oh, okay. this one bar. That's kind of critical. You're going to have to see that. Should, right? When okay. you go to put these clamps back on. Yeah. It's got to go into that bar, right? Yeah, it gets laced in there. Is that, bar, is that bar held on, or is that just... No. Well, once so I, it's once just I floating. Take, yeah, once that's I gonna, take the clamps off, yeah. That's going to drop, right? Yes, it will. In fact, uh, you put your hand out right now. You know, got it. it in a second. Slide it right out. Slide it out? Yep, slide it out. Pass it to me out, put it right back together. There you go. And that even has the, the micrata underneath it. You see yep. that? Yep. Cool. It's all insulated. You see the bolts have have a, have a anti-seize on them. Okay. So you don't go yeah. and them up. Because you're cranking them up pretty hard. Yeah. So you don't have any trouble. And this is the, the thing that's keeping the buses together? Yes. Okay. So this is, this is the clamping force to keep the contact? Yes. Okay. So these are the important guys. I'm on the second file now. It said four gigabytes reached on the first one. That was a half hour. So now it's basically telling me uh, I had to restart it again. So I guess I assume it's making four gigabytes on this. Mm -hmm. I'm still blinking up here, right? Yep. Okay. I'll give you another one right, right, right after it. So. You want them in different yeah, places? Yeah, you know, you can get them. You can get them together. I'll label them. Light, yeah, here we go. You already broke the loose. That's why this is so loose. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, they were cranked up pretty good. Okay. They, they got to, you know, pull them pretty hard. That might may or may not have a uh, micarta spacer it does. in it. Yeah. It okay. And they're double sided tape taped on there. So this is the second one now, right? There was a top yeah, and a this bottom. Is the upper one. I got to write the this upper one. This is the one. upper one, yeah. Just in case there's any difference, it really shouldn't be. Yeah, but, but most likely. One I never knows. Say. Now there's my Carter bars underneath. Yeah, I see. Yep, yeah, they're on. They're. Uh, Where? Uh, they're, yeah. uh, is that my Carter? Yeah, it is my Carter. Or yeah. G10. Looks like G10. It right? might be G. I know. I thought I used my Carter. I can't yeah. remember. So that's where the bars will go I know back I used over G again. My Carter for one of them. Yeah, I'm okay, so they hit that, right? I'm gonna fix that because. One yeah, you better get that. So we know the. Those, so those were the bars on. Okay, cool. Okay, so go Do that. Oh shit! What just what just fell? Oh, the micro. They, they were not. They're, they were not, not, they're not. They're not. A, they're not. Um, they were, put, put, just put these. Yeah, oh, put the those, G10 pieces. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where were they now? They were right where those bars were. They were one was going up and down oh, this okay. way. And we one shimmed going them. Across. We shimmed. Yeah, okay. we shimmed them with that. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, do you want to put a Sharpie marker there, or no? You're, you're good with the, putting them back? Or wherever you put the clamps, that's where that's got to go. Right, i got to have a light over here. There you go. Right, you want the magnetic one? <laughs> no, it's, it's, I, wish, I really need two, one for each side, you know, because it's nothing. That's what I want. If I would have went home, that's what right. All right, now, get back here and get these. Let's do this. Try to disconnect. Now you see back here, this goes to the coal bar. This is the one place I had to make a conflight connection. I didn't do one on all of them because there's a lot of extra okay. work, but you can't really get back here to sweat that. So I'm going to break okay. this seal next. I'm going to take this, disconnect this. This, we call it the trombone because it bends around on itself. It's actually coming off the coal bar. I had to come back and double back on itself to, to make that connection. And what kind of connection is it? This one is the uh, cold return. This is a magnet, the one, magnet the, return. The one with the flange? The one with the flange? Yeah, yeah, the one okay. with the conflat. I'm going right, to take that conflat right. off right here. Right, I'm going to get out of the way, right, yeah. Frank? Okay. You got time. That's going to be the next one. Get out of my way. I'm going to take a picture. This is the trombone. Okay. And where is that connection? Kind of connection right here. Okay. You see it up here? Yep. Yeah, I see the connection. Good. Okay. That one, uh, yeah, I don't want to hang this. Itself here. Let me uh, tell you what. Let me can I, hold on. Let me just get this out of the way for a minute. Yeah. Some lighting in there? No, I think we're good. Uh, where is the? Uh, yeah, that's right there. Okay. Right there. I see it. There it is. Yeah. Okay. Very good. 
Wait, do you want me to, to unbolt these cape, these connectors? These ones Rich Meyer and I if made. If you got to disconnect them, if you don't need to they're, test they're, anything. They're, yeah, I don't know. You see, I don't no, know who has to test it or anything. Well, these I, have to come off for this thing to be lifted out. Right, but when is that going to get? Want to test anything before we do that? That's that I haven't reason. heard anything. Maybe. Uh, okay. When is it? Well, when is it going to get lifted Friday. out? When? What? Friday? Friday. Friday morning. So, right. but why, you between these? today, yeah, and that's a that's a easy yeah, job, yeah, it's right? A yeah, it's a screw. Yeah, it's a screw. See, so that's the only reason that I would. Uh, okay. That I didn't bring an aircraft. Uh, an aircraft carrier? No, an aircraft wrench for this because this is very tight. I can't. Oh yeah. Galaxies. So you're, you're, you're disconnecting that uh, flange in there, right? That flange, yes. And they special nuts. These are special nuts, not regular ones. Do you want another regular bag? Yes, yeah, so I'll need a little bag separate for this, just for this. What makes these nuts special? So they're, they're, they're extra small for and They deep. almost look like spacers. They're small and yeah. deep for their size. You will not get a regular one in it. There's no room. Oh, no They're especially made okay. for these fittings, you see. Wow. I'm not going to be able to get, get them all out here. These other copper pipes that are wrapped, you wrapped them yes. at some point before they went in? Or how, how well, you? after we put after we yeah, installed them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that that's, makes perfect good sense. So they all... Uh, that looks like it's a pain in the neck. Wrapping it. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, they were wrapped individually, too. Yeah. I, mean, I have to cut those three somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, some place easy to re-weld or re-solder? Yes, yeah, some place where it will be easy to reconnect. And we're just going to put a coupling on. That's what I figured. I mean, to do this was a big deal to make this connection. Yeah, it was expensive too. So I only I only did those one that was almost impossible to get to otherwise. Do you think it'd be a good idea to make all of them that way? You could. It would be much easier just to put a coupling on a solder okay. down. You got one more time, you're gonna hook it together. Yeah, really, it's not like we gotta do this every year or anything. No, yeah, exactly. I mean, they, you gotta understand, when Slack disconnected this, they never figured it would ever get used Yeah, they again. just, they just went in with a sawzall kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. So, so, we're done. Slack has got a huge presence on LinkedIn, man. Do you, do you use LinkedIn at all? I just uh, looked at it when. Oh, but they have a huge. I compare. We have nothing on LinkedIn. You know what I mean? They have very, uh, uh, very good public relations on, uh, on LinkedIn. They make really good use of their of that, which we don't. I mean, mm -hmm. but they I do. Right? On the other side, I got to work on it. Yeah. So does uh, Fermi Lab too. Fermi Lab's having the open family open house, and they broadcast that on LinkedIn. You know. I love Fermi Lab, man. I've been there like yeah, I don't know, I haven't six times now. I haven't been there. I've been there, uh, I think, twice. It's just, I liked it, man. Buffalo still roam around? Or? Oh, yeah. It's a different atmosphere there yeah. than, than what's going on here. You know what I heard from some people who went to visit uh, Jefferson Lab? What? That that's like like still a country club compared to <laughs> compared to this place. Like uh, the old days. This was yeah, that, that, club that has 40 years ago. Yeah, yeah, that hasn't changed much. They said... Uh, Fermi Lab. When the last time I was there, it was when they were having the World Cup. They oh, really? They opened up the the center club, the, the equivalent to our center club, in the morning, and you can go there. And if there was enough people, they'd make breakfast before work. So Are you, you could kidding? Watch the game. Are you kidding me? No, I'm dead serious. Did, I'm like, what the hell? They, they still, still have this thing, the center club, open here afterwards. They still have social events there yeah, and stuff, though. Yeah. I guess. Oh, That's well. the manager is, you know. Shh. I, I got audio. <laughs> <laughs> But now we got new management, so they're much better. Huh? Yeah, you got <laughs> they will give us exactly what we needed. Go. They'll restore all the, <laughs> the morality that we, all the morale we used to have. Absolutely, I got full faith in them. Very poor, very poor um, turnaround with those lab bus trips. By the way, they're having trouble filling buses. I understand. So now they got one for Philadelphia for that flower show. Or something. Yeah, but they, I heard they're still having. Yeah. How'd that concert go? Did they have? Oh, they didn't have that concert yet, right? Oh, the last thing. They, they were hawking yeah. me to come. To, oh, they, I think they were wanting bodies. I don't know. We used to have the greatest blues shows here. Oh, you know uh, and the music, the music club here. Yeah. Oh, the do you remember? Over. Do you remember when they had? 
I tell you, I, I never forgot it. They had the new riders at a Purple Sage. Yeah. Here. The yep. tickets were like ten dollars, right? <laughs> the real new riders at a Purple Sage, ten dollars, right? That well, that that they invited the public to that, and that ended up, man. The odors wafting through the um, Berkner Hall. Oh. <laughs> After that, after that, it was like pretty much over. Okay, so all of this is able to do this. Fortunately, I. What did you I, just take off? When I, I, took, when I took the flange out, now it's disconnected. You oh, see okay. that? Oh, okay. Okay, This can lift right off. There's a copper gasket in there. You see that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, what I did was I made these straight through. These are silver coated screws, so they really are, you know, anti galling. It's a fully rotating flange on both sides well, because you need that flash, to catch so them all and yeah. finally tighten it. Gotcha. And I'm glad I did that because I was able to do oh, it with yeah. just a regular Allen wrench. Okay, yeah. good. Okay. Glad you're, glad you're not, right? That's good. All right. So but this is actually... See that copper gasket? Is that a reusable? Let me see. Where is it? It just dropped down. Yeah. Yeah. Can't you reuse it anyway, but... Okay. Yeah. Can you... But uh, I'd just like to find it just for the hell of it. Yeah, no, get it. Don't leave it. Like, there. That it? So, hold, so, it. Yeah. so this is the copper gasket that can't right. be reused. Right. Okay. Now, I got these nuts here. I could probably... Put them all back on there just so you have them but they have you need these special nuts yeah. now it, i mean it's nothing, nothing that a vacuum get. group wouldn't have or right. anything like that but it's nice to have them there so you know that's what you're supposed to use yes if you try to use a regular nut it, it interferes it's okay. too big you see i can go like this and put each nut right back on there and so next poor guy maybe a couple of years from now that's you <laughs> he'll say thank you raymond whoever did that <laughs> Or he'll say, what the hell did you do it this way for? I don't know. <laughs> Either way. Yeah. <laughs> Can I see anything? See. On? See, I'm putting the nuts on one by one. Mm -hmm. And you can rotate that flange yeah, so you can to, get get all, to get all your stuff before you actually cinch them up tight. Oh, when you when you connect them. When you go to connect yeah. it, yeah. So I was able to use a regular Allen wrench in there to do everything. That was pretty good. I didn't even think I'd be able to do it all. No specific uh, or special torque values, right? Just tight. Tight. You, right. you, you, the cheeks got to close. Yep. I was like on a con flat. You can't be any gap there. Okay. And then that was it. It should seal so up. Once those two uh, flanges are butted together. That's right. You're good. See all your nuts are on here. Just and like no, uh, no creams. Fluids or anything. It's just the no. Copper. These are silver coated. Okay. Uh, the screws are made special for that. Okay. And they're silver plated, so they are anti galling Okay, good. All that is good. Now, what I would like, I hate to really take it. See, I, I got to cut one, two, or three of these things, and they got bulges to it. They got. Uh, I'm going to cut them in such a way. Unfortunately, he went and used the best spots to put them damn uh, mm -hmm. temperature sensors on. That's right where I want to do a connection. So, Well, he's not here, so you can, you know, you're uh -huh. here first. Well, they could be, but I mean, they could be moved, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so I'd not... like him to take them off if he can. Is there any... Oh, except, uh, except that, that, oh, that's that's soldered on. No, they're not. I think they're put on, they're not soldered. Is... They're put on with uh, indium. Oh, is it indium? Okay. okay. All right. So, all right. I mean, if I can take them all off, they can put them any place, really. Okay. Can you just slide that up, or no, uh, I've done screwed. I, I can carefully you have to, take you have it to unscrew. off. All right. See, but they got them listed. What the, they are. Yeah, they, they got. So I'm not yeah. keeping track of what they say for that. Um, I don't know. Uh, lead is that I lead? Can, uh, I can take pictures. Yeah. Have the, the How about I get out of the way, yeah. Frank? And you, you want to take all kinds stills? of pictures here? Shoot stills. Yeah, you have a, uh, there's a temperature sensor ear Hold here. Uh, I think that something's linked linked onto that. I remember when uh, Rich put these Has on. Has that ear right there? Yeah. And right. then you got these two guys here. I'm going to take them off right now because right. Frank, you ready? Let me yeah. get a still with uh, what there. goes with what, okay. so then we can just. Okay. Uh, right. Showing pretty well here. And then that guy goes to that one. And then this guy, where's his? Does he have a label somewhere? Yeah, he does. Okay. Is that labeled? No, it's not labeled. So that was just that one. I don't know. Uh, is, is it a Hold on, here it is. Look. Okay. What does that say? That. I can get that and then open that up. Just can you say it though? So we have uh, the uh, T E you know seventeen forty four, right? Those two uh, studs. H. Can you reach them? Seventeen. 
Yeah, you can read it right here, Tom. Okay, great. It's my iPhone. iPhone. Keep that in the bag. Okay, so let me get out of the way. Let me get out of the way to master. So then, I'll just make those. Okay. They don't seem to be like super tight on there either. No, they got a spring on them. Okay. They got, uh, looks like uh, aircraft nuts and nylocks, nylo you know? Yep. So Who put those brackets on? Uh, uh, Tom Wozniak? Um, I think he, the one you're taking off there. I, I thought did Richie, put, but I don't know. I think, well, I think Tom Wozniak worked Maybe with him. Tommy? Yeah, okay. Well, Tom did the uh, little uh, round buttons there with oh, the yeah, Indian. Okay. I think they worked, yeah, I think they worked together. Made a little saddle. Is yeah, just to, saddle exactly, or just to get that round, uh, yeah. and then have the Indian wire. Tom is really good brackets. Yeah, okay. Before that comes all the way off. Yeah, see, they tightened against the spring with these nylocks. Now those those buttons are going to fall down at some point, well, right? I'm going to take them off, put them in a bag for them. No, no, I'm just saying as you unloosen it, they're going to be, they're going to fall, right? Very they likely. Off. They're probably stuck on with the Indian to some level. You think they'll be stuck? Ray, do you want one of those in a ratchet? Yeah. By the time you got it, I'll have it off. <laughs> yeah. Is that a challenge? Yeah. What no, I'm just saying. It, is, is it seven sixteenths? But that's all right. Right. I got. Some. Oh, you got it handy. All right. Yeah. See, you can't. You're never going to turn with your fingers. No. The pressure. There's too much pressure. Yeah, see, it's coming right up. Just gonna cut them right there. They'll have to find another place. That's what. Well, actually, you know, what? I'm gonna put them right on. Put them all together. Did they? Uh, oh, the button. Is the button stuck to there or screwed into there? I'm just curious. Got screwed into. Oh, okay, see that's that? good. Yeah, so that's well, great. Let me see. Let me get a shot of that. Also. Yeah. See, they had an Indian patch over here. They stuck a little spot of Indian on yeah, there to make good. make thermal contact. That's good. So what I could do, I could just go ahead and put this right back like this. Give you the springs and nuts right back. Cool. Some poor guy in the future. I have to deal with it. I want to cut it right there because that's where I want to cut it. They can yeah. move this up or down according to them. Yeah, it's not a permanent. I have to cut it. You understand, um, this was all metric uh, copper. Oh boy. And everything we did was standard. Standard, imperial. And so I had to make conversions. And I want to cut it on the standard stuff. So you just use right. a standard coupling. I gotcha. could not get sweat fittings in, in uh, metric sizes at all. Am I, am I still blinking here, Frank? Or? Yep. Good. Got the same thing here. Bring that around. Where does the metric start and where's... Uh yeah, I'll kind of show you that. Everything coming down from the uh, stack up here. Right. Well, well is this what, this was built in Italy? Is that why? I mean, or yes. Is that why everything was metric. metric? Everything metric. That over this thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you could, yeah. That's better. Yeah, much better. Yeah. Everything was metric, and we couldn't get sweat fittings at all. I can buy metric tubing, but you know what? I just converted it. And you know, once you convert it once, then everything is yeah. easy to get, nice. So you're just going to get regular, regular half-inch plumbing couplings. Spin tight would be nicer for this. Those well, springs attached to the nuts? No. Okay.
could probably get that Indian spot back there if it didn't fall off. So that's this drop. That's this, that's this. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. Okay, so this I'm gonna put it all back together. What fell the Indian? You probably a little spot of Indian. My question to you is, what is Indian? It's a soft metal. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, that, yeah. That for, it forms. Very, very right. soft. It forms, you know what I mean, for a good thermal contact. Okay, okay. So there you go. You'll be able to see from the picture which one goes where. Yep. Uh, I think we're going to take off, go to break, and we'll come back with probably Joe D'Amber. So you okay. can look at this stuff. Uh, Here's a little piece of Indian right here. This stuff is extremely expensive. It's way more than silver, actually. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I got nobody you. knows. We, yeah, we have sheets yeah. of it, though. Yeah. We have sheets yeah. of it. Yeah, you know how expensive it is? They give you quotes. You know, you ask, we need a piece of Indian with a little tiny size. We'll, we'll get back to you with a quote. Oh, wow. That's yeah. what they yeah, say. Yeah, it's not like oh, a, yeah. it's it's like, a $3 a sheet or something. It's not, nothing no. like that, eh? Is it that expensive? Yeah, it's, it is pricey. It is Why is it pricey. so expensive? Actually, you know, this is probably metric to at least to here. I know this part, these these two tubes, I I'm, I made them and bent them around like that mm -hmm. to make the connections. So you understand so you the head stuff here. Coupling like this, that might be your transition from... I'm going to come down below that. I'm not going to try to unsweat that and, yeah. you know, while they're trying to... Because they can't... I have, any, have no way to pull it up. So if I cut it down here, you'll like have another one. It feels like there's something right here. Like maybe, is that a coupling there yeah, too? You, you, like? Down here, I, yeah. like I say, I bent these. Mm -hmm. and, and I can... If I take the installation down to here, I can cut it probably there. And maybe I can cut this one here. Um, these are good, maybe two candidate places, and then this one I'll just maybe cut over here. And then you're going to carefully heat, heat shield that and, and re sweat coupling side right. when it actually goes together. That's the back tight. one here, you'd never be able to get back here. That's one had the con flat. Right. It was a lot more work to do that. The con flat was like oh, 10 no. times the work it would take to just cut and re, right. re and do it right. just one more time. But it was impossible to get back there. Yes, yeah. exactly. And you can see that what we called it, we called it affectionately the trombone and the flex line. Yeah. I had to kind of create that to make, to actually make that connection. That was the hardest connection to get to. This, we bought a flex line. It came out pretty and, good though. Oh no, it worked. Yeah. But I mean, it was a lot of careful figuring to make that happen. Yeah. I'm just saying the plumbing work, that was all the stuff. So I'm going to come back with Joe D'Amber. Right. We're ready right okay. now. We're about 75% right. ready to lift this right. thing Let me, off uh, work-wise. I'm going to stop all the videos, okay? I'm gonna get in there and take a couple more 